Very often people ask me um, where I get inspiration and why I do so large size paintings. Um, I think I love nature. Uh, that's very essential for me to go to park and um, to beach by the water and meditate uh, in, the, in the nature. Then make me think uh, um, how the nature is big, how human being is so small. We are, we are still part of the nature. We learn so much from nature. There is a complete order and balance, harmony and beauty in the nature. I feel awesome power of the truth in the nature. And watching those cloud and water, the flow of wind in the forest, that really inspire me. All my painting has a watermark and the flow of cloud and uh, that makes me feel the power of life. Uh, maybe I'm, I love to move the paint and uh, use the big gesture of brush in my painting. That's why I need large size. Uh, we're continuously moving forward and searching. Um, another influence is my father uh, used to take me to mountain when I was young. Uh, he is the uh, what he majored the earth science and he also philosophy. He used to uh, teach me the phenomena of nature. Uh, that was quite impressive to learning that. Also, I love to travel. Um, when I travel, I see the world in different angles, uh, mentally, also visually. Especially when I'm in the airplane, I look down the world and underneath me. And I love to stay awake at night. Uh, I see the stars and see in lights of human civilizations, especially in this New York studio. I, I see so much night lights from my studio. Recently, I read the book of Saint Exuberi's uh, Night Flight. That quite uh, influenced me um, doing the uh, floor plan of a church and my ceiling paintings. Uh, I see the things far distance and see the culture through the stars. Um, I think that's what I am doing these days. When I hang my uh, ceiling piece and put piece on the wall and on the floor, I like the they echo each other and reflection of one another, especially the you know, way we look up the ceiling and uh, instead of painting is in front of me, uh, it's uh, on the ceiling, so my vision is angle is different. Uh, I like to experience a different angle of my vision and um, looking up and looking down uh, is much more interesting than looking straight. And actually the, uh, my image of a ceiling installation, there is a personal story behind. Um, I lost my mother right before I leave to New York. And, and she was ill in the hospital for more than a year. All, only thing she can look at is a hospital empty ceilings. And I really wanted to hang something beautiful for her because uh, she can't see anything beautiful outside or in the nature. I kept thinking about her. Why didn't I hang anything beautiful for her? And then I, there's a painting image of a sky and the uh, installation uh, on the ceiling. People really enjoyed uh, lying down under the ceiling installation and uh, they can really rest, rest. That's what I wanted, people take rest. The shows at Stony Brook uh, University, Stoller Art Center, uh, I, especially the 
a flow of installation uh, covering the uh, uh, painting with a plexiglass and bring the ins reflection of the ceiling piece on the floor. Uh, then make a uh, people's uh, feeling to travel in, in the unknown universe, uh, dark sky with stars, and people can experience a buoyant, buoy buoyancy, like floating in the air. I enjoy that kind of a, a floating and flow. All my paintings uh, show this feeling of flow and floating. Uh, I want uh, audience can experience that feeling also and people can relax on the mattress and looking up and listening the uh, sound of ocean. Uh, this is oil on canvas. It's done 19, uh, no, no, 2004. Uh, this is the beginning of my uh, church plan um, painting. Um, it's a floor plan of a church. Uh, the name is St. Morris Church. Oh, the, the day before last year, I went to Praha in Czechoslovakia, and I saw so many beautiful churches, and I got the uh, all, uh, floor plan of a church, Romanesque churches. Uh, I thought it's, the geometry is so beautiful, so I start to do the uh, church plan, uh, including stars, and and uh, also that's coincidence that a long time ago uh, the temple columns uh, they relate with uh, uh, stars. So star and the church is somehow very much related. So I, these days, I've been doing church plan, including stars. So I can look, in, look down the land through the star. So my uh, perspective is changing from uh, sky to land. And also interesting, including nature and uh, culture together. I wet everything first. Every day before I start work, this is the same process. I have to wet the whole painting. So, when I start poor color, it can spread. I don't want a more definite line. I like to have the effect of water spread out. And just like I said, it's like a dying cooking. And I like the way the water make all the different accident. I use the accident. Interesting to have a surprise. And then then plan. I always get surprised at what water makes. It looks strong now, but tomorrow I need to dry and get much inner color. how I mix the color, I pour and just flap the canvas so water can move by itself with the color and keep the transparency and using the accident. It's just like a fun game with water, children's water playing gently soft and transparent. This way I like to keep the color 
deep and transparent, like looking down the well, surface of the well, you can see through the depths. And then next day, if the color is not deep enough, I wet it again and I pour more color until it comes the right color and transparent. This is the six-piece uh, aluminum plate. It's on the process. It's not done yet. But um, this is the same way I did the uh, uh, painting uh, White Night, uh, April, which was nine pieces at the exhibition. But, uh, after this one is all dried, I'm going to add a different color. And, make some geometric lines with a knife. I usually keep the uh, very sharp uh, palette knife. I can make a line like a, with a palette knife, very sharp line. Uh, most of my aluminum piece is the process is done by putting uh, sticky oil, gambling oil, and mix with uh, turpentine uh, and wet the plate first. Like my uh, any other painting, I like a wet surface and use a lot of roller technique. Then, like any other painting, I use a lot of accident. So also this one also roller one of the roller mark gives uh, I have to choose whether I like it or not. I cannot change much. And on the surf, on the aluminum plate it slips. the accident by roller mark give me most of the time it make nice watermark unconsciously in my painting a lot of watermark and the method using water it comes out uh, after this thing dries I cover with a different color usually transparent color so I can keep the flow of uh, uh, this uh, color mark uh, by uh, roller and the next stage is I color with uh, this different uh, transparent color so I can still see the color roller mark underneath. The reason why I like this is I want to have a more smearing effect when I pour the painting paint a uh, paint so the reason I use aluminum clay is not only because of the shininess I have like this flexibility it bends so I can move around the floor
shall leave it like that. Tomorrow morning, maybe a couple of days later, let me try. If I want to emphasize the more, I go same step again. Wet it. I put some uh, strong color, and then while it's wet, I sprinkle white color. My painting main what idea is how I can um, express light, where and what kind of composition, where the light coming from. But I realized that there is, a, if I don't put the darkness, I cannot express light. Without darkness, there is no light. When I was in India, I experienced this light. Actually, I've been growing in San Francisco a long time, and I went to school here San Francisco. But my conception of light was like a strong light by the sunshine and the shadow. But when I was in India, I saw the different light, the light coming um, out of the object, like a light radiating from the object. When I see in the cave the temple in the India, there was a light smearing, radiating out of the Buddha. It was a dark temple. And there is an, it's completely dark. There is no sunlight. But gradually, I see the light radiating from the, all these statues and the, uh, even from the people. And I realized Light is not only because of by sunlight. Light is something from inside of the object or the spirit. So uh, after that, whenever I paint, when I try to think about light, I think about darkness also. Uh, this painting is the 1995, just before I leave San Francisco to New York. Um, Originally, the image came from the uh, train bridge a long time ago. They made a wood structure in the valley to make a train pass. So this is a train bridge uh, drawing. And while I'm doing this, uh, you know, just like I used to do before, I did uh, some perspective and lines and flow. Uh, and I use the technique of pouring top and time uh, with the color made to make this uh, flow of cloud and wind. And this is actually this is my first piece I did on some uh, I didn't try this before, but after I did uh, this drawing of train bridge, it just looked like landscape. I thought I needed some something more mass or some more texture on top of this. I went to lumber yard and I found this rotten old wood. During the accident, uh, uh, tra uh, tragic the accident of a uh, twin building, twin tower, the 9-11-2001. And actually my studio was on top of the building. I was looking down the whole New York City stream of light. They never go to sleep. whole night they are going someplace. So, uh, 
it's like a searching and waiting and there was so much candlelight parade and it all turns into the light, uh, candlelight and each candle looked like uh, all the spirits of the lost beloved uh, and the streets start to glow. This uh, rectangular uh, geometric line is like uh, uh, my surrounding. Uh, we are always living in some kind of a box in the house, in the room, and my reality. And this geometry is more to my reality and culture. And uh, I want to mix this geometry and uh, uh, organic form and nature together. And the uh, energy of uh, uh, human uh, culture is in the bowl floating moon